Junkyard Queen. Where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. Yeah, badass too. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? It's right here. Obviously, I was gonna give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, Suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See? You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? Why do you care so much? Because, fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in... Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. 
They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? N nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? Well, 
when he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter. He... he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I... I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up and then I'll feel better. <laughs> 